Meantime, a fire district in central Arizona says problems with an ambulance company are continuing. This time, Central Arizona Fire and Medical says they faced a long delay for an ambulance when a middle schooler collapsed on a baseball field. It is part of a long-running feud between the fire district and the ambulance company. Team 12's William Pitts has more from Prescott Valley. It was a t-ball tournament at Bradshaw Mountain Middle School. A 10-year-old felt sick, then passed out. A witness told 12 News they heard someone yell, call 911, and saw someone running across the field carrying the child. Central Arizona Fire and Medical Chief Scott Freitag says his crews called for an ambulance. In Prescott, they're known as Lifeline, but owned by ambulance giant AMR. The ambulance that was coming was delayed. Initially, there was no ambulance available from uh, AMR to respond. Freitag says Lifeline was at level zero. No ambulance is free to take calls. He says an ambulance was dispatched from the town of Mayer, 10 miles away, before a Lifeline ambulance became available. They showed up as a basic life support, so only two EMTs on the unit, no paramedics. Freitag says that's the difference between first aid and serious medical treatment. The 10-year-old did recover and will be okay. There is no way. Freitag says he's kept count of how often he says his department has had to handle things themselves. We've transported over 187 patients in our rescues as well as in alternative response vehicles, whether that's the fire engine, the battalion chief vehicle, the patient's private vehicle. And he says in almost a thousand calls since last July, Freitag's department provided the only paramedic. AMR's parent company sent a lengthy statement saying Central Arizona Fire is misleading people. AMR says their ambulance arrived when the fire personnel were still unloading gear. But the statement does say that all 13 ambulances were assigned to other calls at the time, and it says the EMTs on board were able to handle the call at Bradshaw Middle School. It's a long-running fight between Central Arizona Fire and Medical and AMR. Freitag has accused the company of being deficient in its ambulance services in Yavapai County for years. Until Wednesday, AMR was the only ambulance company state certified to operate in the area. The state just approved a second company's application, but Freitag wants to be able to run his own ambulance service too. Our ideal situation is that we also have a licensed to operate ambulance service in the area and that we work jointly in a public-private partnership. But he expects an uphill battle and years of appeals to make that happen. In Prescott, William Pitts, 12 News.